Well, Peter, you should be proud of yourself, man. I mean, your first movie did absolutely phenomenal. And your second movie broke over a billion. I mean, it broke Skyfall's record. You currently hold the top grossing film record at Sony Pictures. How do you feel, Peter? How do you feel? I don't feel so good. You're alright. I don't I don't know what's happening. I don't know. Hey, hey. I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go, sir. Please. Please, I don't wanna go. I don't wanna go. No. You no. You can't do this. You heartless, heartless bastards. We just got him back. He just came home, damn it. He just came home. Why do you have to do this to me? I literally just made a video an hour ago. Ow. Oh, you're breaking my heart. Sony, damn you. Damn it. Give me a second, you guys. I need a minute. I need a minute. Roll the intro, please. Just roll the intro. Okay, I've calmed down. What's up, universe? And welcome to the Web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture and a minor in grief counseling because that is what we are going to need today. Um, if you can tell, like, my voice is quiet because, um... Yeah, I did a video like an hour ago of me yelling about how we need to save Spider-Man. And looks like we can't save Spider-Man. Like, I know the energy just seems dead here, but like, dude, my heart was just hit by a freaking truck. Oh my lord. Ugh. All my hopes... All my ambitions, all my dreams for the MCU, what this could have meant, bringing the Fantastic Four in, that amazing dynamic, the possibility of the Future Foundation. What could this mean for like so many different things? Like they've got like the Spider-Man game going on, and there are Avengers ties there. You have so much stuff set up. Now I keep seeing that. An, a deal could be eventually reached by Sony and Marvel. But right now, it just is not looking grim. And obviously, you know, I will keep you guys up to date, or C Dubs, or whoever gets a chance to upload a video on the channel will keep you guys up to date as this story develops. But like, as of right now, man, things are looking very grim for our friendly neighborhood Spider Man. You know? The whole second movie was about him taking up the torch of like Tony Stark becoming the, one of the pillars of the MCU and it just kind of ended here you know on one hand it just doesn't make any sense for Disney to pull out of the deal but like on the other hand you gotta think about it like this they're making 5% on Spider-Man and they put all this effort into you know bringing Spider-Man back up giving all this good faith back into the Spider-Man franchise and they're not really getting anything back for real for real really Feige was just doing this because he loves the character and he knows you know what it would mean to the fans and how it would help the MCU as a whole but like you know he's got so many other franchises on the table now he's got the X-Men he's got the Fantastic Four and as much as it pains me to say this like, the X-Men could just as easily take that spot and help out and fill that gap. But, like, I don't really want it to. I really don't want it to. I'm a Spider-Man fan through and through. Like, above everything else. Like, I'm a massive X-Men fan. I love stuff like Daredevil. I love you know, Wolverine, like the X-Men stuff in general, the Fantastic Four, I love a lot of the Marvel characters, the Avengers, all that stuff. But Spider-Man means so much to me personally. Spider-Man is my favorite superhero of all time. He's the hero that taught me, growing up as a kid, that it's okay to be a nerd. It's okay to be you. Alright? You can succeed and you can thrive no matter what life throws at you you can get up 
you can lift any weight that is on your shoulders as long as you think you can as long as you set your mind to it that's what spider-man taught me and that's the feeling i got when watching the spider-man movies from the mcu or i guess from the mcu sony deal and this for the first time in a long time since maybe the early 2000s with spider-man 2 was the first time i really felt this is spider-man like, this is the Spider-Man that I fell in love with as a character. This is the Spider-Man that means so much to me. And just the fact that it's gone just right when it was at its peak and it had so much potential to do so many great things. Again, I'm hoping against all hope that a deal can still be reached. But I also have to be a realist here. It might not happen and this might just be it for Peter I mean he metaphorically got dusted guys like there isn't really much more to say I mean it's been a great run obviously Tom Holland is fantastic you know just because he's not a part of the MCU does not change his performance I'm sure no matter what's gonna happen he's gonna give his a game Zendaya is gonna give her a game John Watts, if he's still involved, look, Sony may be stupid, but they better not be stupid enough to get rid of John Watts. That guy, I give Feige a lot of credit, sure, but that guy is the director. He helped to really infuse the heart and soul that really made Spider-Man the franchise it is right now. So if they're going to do this stupid move, they better at least keep John Watts on. Now, here's the big question, though. Like, a lot of Spider-Man is now directly tied to the MCU. If this deal goes forward and, you know, they pull out of the deal, how is this franchise going to even work now? Are they going to have to reboot it? Are we going to have to deal with a fourth Spider-Man reboot? No. Forget all this. I'm trying so hard not to curse right now. Like, you have no idea, like, the amount of willpower it is taking for me to not say F Sony in the A right now. Because, Jesus, oh my god, I'm so mad. Right now, I'm just kind of turning on my camera and venting to you guys. Because, like, look, dude, I'm, I'm grieving just as much as you guys. And, look, like I said, as much as I want to hope beyond all hope that this is going to work out and that things are just going to be okay. I know the world by now. Like, it's not just going to be okay. It, we're just going to have to move on and hope that, like, you know, the other franchises that are going to come in later are going to help to fill the gap. Obviously, they're not going to ever replace Spider-Man and what he means to so many people. But, like, <sighs> it's, just, it's just so sad, dude. Like, we finally get to a point where I could start to respect Sony, like, in terms of, like, actually playing nice. Like, I thought we were actually living in a world where people can cooperate for the sake of the fans and the integrity of a property. Uh, but, you know, uh, that's what I get for wishful thinking, right? Like, I'm sorry to sound like such a downer to you guys, and I know I'm usually, like, the one with, like, all the boundless energy and the positivity and stuff like that, but, like, this seriously hit me hard, and so I'm just kind of taking this time to, like, have a little bit of a serious moment with you guys to be like, all right, look, this, this just, I don't know what to do. I don't know how to process this. Like, this is huge. This is just an absolute fundamental universal shift. Like, what is going to happen now? I am at a loss for words despite the fact that I've been going on for almost 10 minutes honestly you guys like this just changes everything and I don't know how we're gonna move forward but you know what Spidey wouldn't want us to be down Spidey would want us to keep going Spidey would want us to keep fighting and you know what that's what we're gonna do we're gonna support the good stuff that Sony puts out with Spider-Man like Spider-Man PS4 it's still fantastic Into the Spider-Verse still fantastic but I don't know if I want to support these Sony movies if we're going to really go forward without connecting them to the MCU. I don't really know. I mean, 
I'm not going to tell you guys what to do, but, you know, as of right now, as of this recording, I'm making the conscious decision to just not support the Sony live-action Spider-Man movies. I mean, yeah, look, I love Tom Holland, I love Zendaya, but they're just not going to be the movies that I want them to be anymore. Like, we can, I can tell that Sony doesn't care about the fans. Sony doesn't care about what the fans want, what makes the fans happy. So why should I care about Sony? So I will support the stuff that I do enjoy that Sony does that has to do with Spider-Man. But, like, as for this stuff, I don't know. Like, this is where I draw the line. This is it. Goodbye, Sony. Goodbye, Spider-Man. Thank you, Mr. Holland, for your wonderful work. Thank you to everybody involved. I feel like I'm just saying goodbye like this is some kind of funeral, but in a way it kind of is. This is the end of an era, a short-lived era, but an era nonetheless, and it's very, just very, very sad. Anyway, you guys, uh, let me know what you guys thought about this news in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to leave this video a like to let me know you enjoyed it. And if you like what I do here and you want to see more from me, DPZ or C-dubs, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified every time we upload a new video. We review all kinds of different content. We do news, reviews, and so much more. And like I said, as this story gets more updates, uh, we will be sure to keep you guys in the loop as we get more information. So definitely stay tuned for that. Keep that notification bell on so you get more news and updates. But in the outro card, I will leave linked my uh, last video I did for about Spider-Man, as well as the video C-Dubs put out recently um, discussing the subject as well. So you get more spidey goodness for you guys to digest. So, until next time, guys, this is Jay from Insurgent Reviews for the Comic Universe. And like I always say, once a comic geek, always a comic geek. And once a Spider-Man fan, always a Spider-Man fan. Even if Sony decides to screw you over. But until next time, I'll catch you guys later, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time in the universe. Peace.